So this is a plasma fire update. My parents tell me Springville Canyon caught on fire Monday after I left when it was all smoky in the valley. And so I'm going to go over there here in another hour or so and check it out. And uh, I assume it's just going to be more of the same. Don't even have to look at it before I can tell you it's plasma fire. But I'm going to give you some more time stamps to the mental boost video that's in the link in the description. At 2 minutes and 6 seconds there's a tree burning inside where the... The uh, the mainstream news broadcaster points at the tree and said these trees are still burning. And I think she even says inside. So we've reached another level where they're going to start showing you. I think we've reached the threshold where P, there's going to be a, as many people that know these fires aren't fires as know that this mask is bullshit. We've reached a threshold that... The mainstream news broadcasters are now showing you these trees burning from the inside. They aren't explicitly bringing your attention to it, but they're mentioning it in, you know, in passing. So, at 2 minutes 6 seconds, there's a tree burning inside. At 3 minutes 13 seconds, and these timestamps will all be in the description for you to read. 3 minutes 17 seconds, the news broadcaster who's doing the uh, broadcast says reaches down and grabs a rock and says it's pulverized rocks the the heat got so hot he walks over to a rock that he had clearly already like spotted and intended to do this grabs the rock and crumbles it to dust in his hand or at least it crumbles apart and i've shown you this phenomenon before and i believe it's the vibratory frequencies that vibrate them apart and shatter them at 9 minutes 58 seconds there's a tree burning on the inside at 19 minutes 14 seconds you can see a tree ignites all at once as if it had been doused in gasoline and someone put the flame to the bottom and the whole thing goes and even amongst all the other fire sound you can hear the sizzling of this tree as it goes from top to bottom all at once that's exactly how my neighbor's house went up he has a pine tree out there and the people who live across the street from him say they saw the fire start they went back in their house to grab their camera and by the time they got out here the whole pine tree was engulfed one possibility as to how this works is that the aluminum, barium, and strontium that have been sprinkled in the air for so long are saturating the tree. They also make their way down into the soil and up through the roots in the water. And aluminum is an accelerant. It's used in all fireworks. Also, when the tree is energized through the roots, possibly once this flame hit it, it just ignited. But it was prepared to ignite the fuel that, it, that the tree had been drenched in is the metallic particles and the electromagnetics that are that have it primed to ignite. There's a power line that you can see that caught on fire at 19 minutes 38 seconds and 1935. And these power lines catching on fire is another phenomenon of these plasma fires. I'm also going to include my video in the description and a timestamp because there's something I noticed that I didn't really uh, illustrate very much or talk very much about as I pick up this square post that's embedded in the weeds and it's been there so long you can see all the weeds have grown over it yet I pull this thing up out of the weeds and the wood is charcoal on top but it was embedded in the weeds so far the weeds had begun to grow over it and as I pull it out of the weeds you can see there's a square spot in the weeds where it was sunk down in and there was literally weeds growing up over it. It's like pulling a burned piece of wood out of a bird's nest. Yet the wood burned and the bird's nest did not. So I just draw your attention to that. The other thing is Mental Boost responded to one of my comments in his video where I had left about 10 different description, 10 different video links. Told him I've been documenting these plasma fires for a couple years. Check out the links below and he responded that I've watched your vids. Can I use some of this footage? So I may have an upcoming debut, and when Mental Boost is with us, who can be against us? When a superstar like Mental Boost notices your work, you've arrived. On that same note, I got chased down the other day by my first groupie or gang stalker, one of the two. But I was going to the hot springs, and I pull up to the hot springs, and I back up, and I turn around, and I go park over there. But as I pull up, I'm about to turn around and this guy pulled into an empty parking lot and he's like trying to, you know, get my attention or something. And he's like pointing at me and pointing at you like, are you going over there to the hot springs? I'm, uh, and I back up over here and he says something else. You, you, I said, I can't hear you. And he said something again. He said, I still can't hear you. And he said, never mind. Uncharacteristically of me, 
I pull the brake and I go over and talk to him because normally people trying to talk to me just telling me that I can't park there or whatever. And he says, I know you. I watch you on YouTube. This was like last Friday, last Thursday. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, John uh, Schneider, right? I'm like, Jeff Snyder, close enough. He's like, yeah, I watched your video that you posted just today. He's like, I recognized your truck. And in a former life, I would have been <clears throat> a little more paranoid and been like, dude, who are you really? Why'd you chase me down here at the hot springs to let me know that you know where I am and that I'm the one posting the videos? Considering the microchip, the sun tunnel, and the plasma fires, any one of those three subjects are enough to get you a caseworker assigned for observation and assessment. All three of those together guarantee that I've got some caseworkers assigned. And on that note, I don't expect Mental Boost or anyone else to promote my channel. They can use my, my video footage. But because of all the other stuff that I talk about on this channel, it's like a tar baby or the third rail. Subjects you just don't touch or it sticks to you forever and you're forever stained and associated with that guy's channel who you promoted. So, On a similar topic, one of my recent videos was titled Time Capsule of the Plasma Fire Next Door. And in the description, it has links to videos that you can't access anymore. You can't scroll down my page, find the thumbnail for that video, hit it, and watch it. They're by invitation only these days. If you have access by the link that you can click on. And the only way I was even able to get those links to that video where my neighbor's house burned about a year ago was because I had already embedded those links and sent them to myself via text message, email, or put it in the description of another video. Those videos are already gone off the bottom of my page. You scroll all the way down... And even my neighbor's house that caught on fire, those videos are no longer available. In the 10 links that I sent uh, Mental Boost is one of the very original videos from my first channel before they wiped everything, which you can still access if you have access to the link. Many of my videos I can't even access anymore because I don't have the link. I didn't send it to myself. I didn't put it in my favorites. So this is a product that's a limited time offer while supplies last, which is... Uh, to be expected because uh, the shelf life career as a plasma fire documentarian is limited. Either everything's going to burn up and you're no longer going to have anything to document because it's already all burnt or it no longer makes sense to announce that the world's on fire when the world's on fire and everybody knows it. And I think we're almost to that point where everybody knows it. So... I'm going to go ahead and include these timestamps in the description. And then once it uploads, I include it in the comments section. But in the first 30 minutes after it's uploaded, I haven't got to that yet. So you'll have to go down to the description. <clears throat> Excuse me. To pull up these timestamps and be able to go to that specific spot and see that the mainstream news broadcasters are now highlighting, they're showcasing trees burning from the inside. Without going full chicken little and saying the sky is falling and... The trees are all burning from the inside out. They're showing you. And they're showing you in enough quantities that I think we've hit a new phase. Like at first, they didn't hide it. It's out there for anyone to see. But each person either chooses not to see it or takes that opportunity to wake up. And in each one of these opportunities, you either go further down into the mind control and narrow your aperture. And you have to look fewer and fewer places to see anything that resembles the world you once knew. And focus on the rear view mirror on the good old days. Or see that we're not in Kansas anymore. And this is unlike anything we've ever seen. We're to another level. Instead of being able to drive through it and not notice it and say you think you it was a forest fire. They're now putting it in front of your face even more. So if you choose not to see it now, you have to, as a result, narrow your aperture and your mind control must bring you down to another degraded state of existence. You must abandon your own senses and your own perception and your own ability to think for yourself to an even greater degree now that they're showing you even closer to look away and deny what you see requires an even greater degree of cognitive dissonance. So with each one of these new levels where they show us, and now they show us even closer, it gets even more people to wake up now that they're showing it closer, but the people who don't wake up go further down into a state of cognitive dissonance. Normalcy bias, looking at that rearview mirror, thinking tomorrow will be just like yesterday if I just keep focused on the smaller and smaller and fewer and fewer pieces of my world that represent the world I once knew, 
more people are going to come to the realization that the world as we know it is over. But the people who don't are going to cling to the world as they knew it even tighter in order to maintain their worldview and protect their pet theories. So I think you'll be able to see more and more of these mainstream news broadcasts highlighting and showcasing the trees that are burning from the inside without saying, this ain't forest fire, but they're continuing to put out more evidence. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this and head over to Springville Canyon and see uh, if indeed that was a plasma fire that crept up behind my house as I was out of town on my way out of town on Monday.